Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to talk about complex post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of being narcissistically abused. And how love bombing greatly can affect this disorder you already have. Due to years of growing up in a narcissistically abusive home. You see. I've talked about before. How being brought up in a narcissistically abusive home primes you for abuse with others when you're older. And it 100% does. No doubt about it. However. I'm all about peeling back the layers of the abuse. And learning about certain triggers. Because the more you can learn about yourself. And what is triggering you to stay with a bad person. When all the writing on the wall says to leave. Then hopefully the process of self-betterment will lead you to being able to take a step back. Seeing things for what they are. And taking the action needed to get free of a bad person before the abuse even starts. You see. I was thinking about this a few days ago. Regarding the love bombing the narcissist or other disordered person might do to someone that has been abused their entire life. And how it affects them. Yes. It makes them feel good because they've never had this type of good treatment before. So it takes them by surprise. Then when the treatment stops. The victim or target tries very hard to work with the narcissist to get them to love them like they did in the beginning of the relationship. Because the feeling they get from the love bombing is now like a drug the target can't live without. And all of this is very true. But there's another part of the puzzle I don't think I've heard anyone talk about before. And that's how love bombing actually helps soothe and decrease the symptoms of the complex traumatic stress disorder the target feels on a day-to-day -day basis brought on by his or her family of origin. That's right. You see. When you grew up in a toxic home like this. It's common to have panic attacks. Feelings of anxiety. Nightmares on a regular basis. Feelings of being constantly tired. Forgetfulness and inability to think clearly. And the list goes on and on. So what do you think happens to this person when they meet someone that makes them feel good inside? Someone that compliments them and says nice things. Someone that pays positive attention to them and the work they do. Someone that goes overboard and shows interest in all areas of their life. And someone that acts like they love them. That's right. The nightmares go away. The unclear thoughts stop. The feelings of anxiety subside. And the depression goes away. It's truly like the target is now on cloud nine. But more so than the average person would be after receiving this love bombing treatment. And yes. One part is because the target never received love in their life from anyone. So they are overwhelmed. But we have to dig deeper into this. What does not having love do to a human being? And furthermore what does having constant abuse? No matter it be mental or physical do to a human being. That's right. It stresses them out. And puts them on edge at all times. Well when someone comes along and love bombs us. We are taken out of that state of being on edge. And into a state where we feel like we can relax. And what person that has been abused their entire life wouldn't want to put their burdens down and relax? Those of us that lived our lives on this mental and emotional hamster wheel of abuse. Are without knowing it. Looking for someone. Anyone to help us get off the wheel. Even if it's for a moment so we can catch our darn breath. We are tired and worn out. So we are willing to believe the mirage the love bombing offers us because of the opportunity it gives us to relax and rest. Because at the end of the day. We want what everyone else wants. To feel safe and secure around those that claim they love us. And because we've never had that. We've lived on edge for so long. And it's stressed us out so bad. We are willing to believe whatever lie is being told to us. If that means we can put down our burdens. Forget about our past abuse. And being somewhat normal for even a minute. We go along with it. The problem is these minutes turn into years. Because we have no idea of how or where we will ever get anyone to treat us nice ever again. Because that's what our past history shows us. 
instead of being nice to ourselves. Working out our complex post-traumatic stress disorder within ourselves and recognizing it for what it is. And realizing because of it. Extra nice treatment that some might give us. May affect us differently than others because of this stress disorder. And when we realize this fact. We can slow down time. And take it for what it is. And not get swept away by it. And not allow another person to dictate whether we are happy or sad. And we need to always be looking at these things. Because when we do. We understand more about ourselves. Hence the self work I talk a lot about in most of my videos. You see I was just thinking about this the other day. Why the heck the love bombing works so well on lifelong narcissistic abuse survivors. And yes. I could see where it does because we never had real love before. But I started to dig deeper. And ask myself. What does this lack of love and abuse cause? And it causes a wound. And what is the love bombing to this wound? It's like the best ointment around to soothe the pain. You see the love bombing isn't just something that makes us feel good. It soothes the pain of all the abuse we suffered our entire life. That's the key to why it's so effective. That's the main ingredient the narcissist taps into. They see we are wounded. And they come with ointments. Bandages. And a nice bedside manner to make us feel like our. Wounds are now being taken care of. And we let the love bombing take hold. We have a new spring in our step. Not because of something we did. But because of something the narcissist did. Heck our cornflakes taste better in the morning after being love bombed. There's a tingle on the top of our head that travels down our spine when we are love bombed. And those old wounds seem to fade away. The problem becomes when the love bombing stop. And the abuse and do do tests start. All the old wounds come back. Along with some new wounds. This is so important because this is where we need to work on our own wounds ourselves. And to not leave it up to love bombing. And we must understand the full effects love bombing has on us. Just in case it happens in our lives in a time we are most vulnerable to it. You see the narcissist and other disordered people are some serious students regarding you. They study human behavior. That's why they know what works so well. They really sit at home and think of things to try just to test their results. They work on perfecting techniques and tricks they use on their targets. This is why you need to take your time with studying yourself. Study what really pains you. What hurts you deep inside. And then spend time with yourself working on those pain points. Then study your enemy the narcissist. What tactics do they use and why? What effects do they know certain things will have on you or someone like you? And now the key is to stop being that person that reacts this or that way altogether. And how you get there is self-realization. Realization of how you got where you are today. Realization of the evil that was done to you. Realization you're a walking wound the world can see and crows and buzzards are flying in circles above you waiting to peck you to death. That being said. No one is perfect. Don't put on a false persona of being superman or woman. Be yourself. But always be available to yourself mentally and emotionally to dig into your past or present to find out what makes you tick. And what makes you do what you do. Because when you're always growing and getting better. It's a lot harder for tricks such as love bombing to have the impact on you that it once did. I hope you found this video helpful. I would love to hear your comments on this subject. Because like I always say. Knowledge and wisdom is power. The more we know. The more we can lead happy and healthy lives. Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.